that's the like the album for me is is the core thing that we do. You know, that's our music. You know, yeah. um, and you know, creating it is a lot of fun. Um, you know, singing is why I got into the band in the first place, and that's the kind of ultimate thing is to go into a studio and record a, an album full of vocals. So, you know, and John Shanks actually the producer that we've done this album with was very um he embraced like, you know, our our kind of love of singing and like I love getting involved in vocal arrangements and stuff like that as well. Yeah. And he really, really kind of promoted that and, you know, you can hear it all over the album and I think right across the album in general we're much more involved in the final product. So what you hear is you know, it's a bit m a lot more from us than than a normal Yeah. Album. Are you restricted? I mean there's Simon Cowell with we with actually this and say this is the song you're singing. We, we locked the door in the studio of this year and went away with the producer and then afterwards we came back with the finished like 17 songs and said yeah. this is the songs we've recorded so pick your favourite you know what I mean yeah he did He did suggest a couple of covers and stuff like that Simon but apart from that he kind of he stayed I, away I think actually you got to kind of you know let, let everybody who's involved in Westlife be involved yeah you know, um, to a certain extent so there was there was an element of kind of locking the studio doors and, and doing what we wanted to do but you know we did also let people have an influence from the outside you know how big that influence became was always dependent on what they were what they were offering or what they were suggesting yeah um, so is this period you're in now the kind of sit back and chill out a little bit or is it all no this, no this, very much this the opposite is, is very much a go I mean you know we kind of feel since our year off a few years ago um, the last album and this album is kind of like a new step forward for Westlife we feel like our music has taken a step forward uh, we feel this album has definitely taken a step forward from the last one and um, so hopefully we just hope that people will think the same thing of this album you yeah. know um, I mean we definitely feel there's three or four fantastic singles off this album um, you know you're going to hear one of the options in a minute but in, in general we just kind of feel like you know you know we now feel like we're making music again I think there was a period of Westlife where we were going through where we were kind of like members of a boy band yeah and now it kind of feels like we're now members of a band that make music that tour music that you know go on stage every night and perform yeah um, I think things have changed a little bit for us um, in a sense that because we have a little bit more control we feel a little bit more like a, a real band yeah um, so what are the plans for Christmas now well we'll be working literally right up till Christmas we have a lot of things before that you know we're doing child line um, you know we have a lot of TV shows so we're hopefully on the late late show before Christmas a lot of stuff over in the UK as well um, we've heard earlier that Jeremy's being pulled thanks to Mark where he, he exclusively admitted that <laughs> um, so yeah we've a lot of, we'll be working right up till Christmas and then usually every year Christmas to us is like when you do albums every year you always see Christmas as a light at the end of the tunnel it's like you know that's the time off you know so usually about 18th 20th of December something like that we get home and you know grab your last bit of shop and take in the whole atmosphere and be at home really till mid-January or whatever's planned in, yeah. in the new year ready uh, for a tour after that then do you, yeah. ha do you hand out uh, Westlife albums as Christmas presents yeah, well, <laughs> I was going to say on Grafton Street <laughs> at actually, Christmas. I, I, we got like a load of um, uh, promo copies of the album a few weeks back. Yeah. And I, I give them out to all my cousins and stuff like that, but that's just because I wanted to hear their opinion more than anything. Yeah. And to make them feel special as well. Yeah, they get exclusive listen yeah, to the exactly, yeah. album. Yeah, exactly. So Georgina isn't like opening up a thing on Christmas morning going, oh, gee, thanks, thanks a million. Million. Nikki. Thanks yeah, a million. God, Westlife yeah. album. Can't wait yeah. to listen to this. I'll, I'll stack it with the others. Nikki, <laughs> Nikki takes the photographs of himself, frames them, <laughs> signs and them. then signs them to Georgina with all my love, Nikki Byrne. The girl. You, get, you do get to all the glamour spots there's a text saying hi to the lads who I met earlier this year in Supermax in Ballinalack near Mullingar we know it was that's, that's kind of like one of our stop off points how rural <laughs> how rural does that sound <laughs> Ballinalack <laughs> that's, that's, that's like the end of the year isn't it end end year. after that you fall off like. yeah so so you know, know, get out of it you don't, don't have a Dublin opinion here <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. Hamburg yeah. Paris uh, no the O2 and then Ballinalack then to finish off the tour Ballinalack is cancelled this year by the way that's an exclusive if you go to the Chipper or Supermax uh, what's your food of choice at 2 in the morning Supermax actually um, garlic cheese chips is quite nice I like hillbillies in Fairview have you ever done that? Yes. Oh, my favourite. You, yeah, I mean, oh. you can only eat I love there the once. Cozy, I love the cosy. <laughs> How beside where Brian lived, because it's the only chipper I know in Dublin, I used to love the cosy. The cosy's a lovely chipper as well, yeah. Yes. Abra Kababra for me Abra Abra as well. Garlic yeah. and cheese chips. Abra Abra Garlic and cheese chips or taco chips. Eddie Rockets Bacon cheese burger. Well, nah, empty pockets. Not, not huge on that now. Abra Kababra started doing quesadillas as well, for anyone who's interested. <laughs> Quesadillas. 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 Qu
Batch loaf. <laughs> batch loaf in a big loaf. Sausage sandwich, yeah. batch loaf, bit of whey pudding, <laughs> dirty Plastic. butter. Well, chefs, it's great to end the conversation on something really important <laughs> and insightful. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Garlic and cheese, chefs. That's close to our heart, isn't it? The only thing we didn't discuss is biscuits. Yeah, well, well, well I'm, I'm not, not a biscuit, biscuit man. Biscuit, I'm well, not a biscuit man. Biscuit? Don't get him started. Pink wafers. Oh, no. Oh, pink well, wafers. Well, caramels. What? what? Digestive caramels. Digestive with a piece of caramel and a layer of chocolate on top. Oh digestive caramels. Oh, you like know, what's the name of those? You, you know, need to um, settle your stomach. I haven't seen the fig rolls. Oh. Oh. I like fig rolls. I, 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 I sound really boring. You, get the I'm just, the you know what the normal rich tea, you just dip in and boom. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. That's me. You, you know go what? soggy, they kind of wobble. <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> you trying to get it into your mouth. You know you're talking to a fig roll taste bud. One of the guys in the red lycra suits, that's Dermot. Wow. Really? The milk. You haven't even watched my ass. I want, me, I want you I can tell I've seen this. Yeah. Before we go, lads, we have to ask how Dave is. How is Dave? <laughs> Dave is good. His leg is elevated at home. Who's Dave? Where it should be. Dave is my co-host. Yeah, exactly. Nicky, Nicky. Nicky will know from Twitter. Exactly. But he broke his leg in how many places? You're getting him, you're getting him back for saying who's Dave by calling him Nicky. Dave's I like new it. name is Eric. <laughs> Passive aggressive. Yeah. So actually, Sorry. would you wish Dave a, a get well soon message? Because Sorry, Dave, for not knowing who you are and get well soon. <laughs> he broke his leg in ten places. Are they operating? Walking. What? Jesus. Yeah, he's got By walking. Paintball. He's now a magnet. Paintball. <laughs> he's stuck to his own fridge at home. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the drones, Besides the child's drones. <laughs> uh, Westlife, thank you so much for coming in, lads. We thank really you very much. It. It's a great treat for us all to, to have you in. We're going to uh, let you go with uh, one of your songs off the new album, which is out tomorrow. Westlife Gravity, go and buy it and uh, make it number one. I this will is a song that Mark wrote as well, by the way. So tell us about it, Mark. What's the go on, Mark? Well, <laughs> um, I actually wrote it a few, good few months ago um, for Westlife, you know, with the new album coming up and everything like that, and um, everyone liked it, so we recorded it. It was yeah. one of the first songs to get to sort of get okay by Simon Cowell. And what's so it about? Um, it's sort of about. It's it's kind of a little bit similar to a song that was on the last album that yeah. I wrote, um, and it's kind of it's it's sort of about asking someone to come out of their comfort zone and you sort of help them. It's a little bit like the si similar meaning to the song "Safe" or right. "Single." Okay, well here it is from the new album Westlife Gravity. Uh, it's "I Will Reach You." Thanks for coming in, boys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.